purposes of committing a theft offense. Basically what happened is September 4th of last year, Jack and Carol Koblenz went to the YMCA like they often did. They're both 73 years of age. They went there for their normal workout. Carol got finished with her workout a little bit earlier than he did, and so she headed out to the car. Out in their vehicle, which I shouldn't really say a car, it's a GMC Acadia, out in their car, which was, or vehicle, which was parked in the first row near the entrance to the Y here in Greenville, uh, Jack had locked his wallet sort of in the center area, by the, in the console area, right in the middle of the front seat. He had left it there for safekeeping when he went into the Y, because he didn't always lock up his belongings when he went in there. There's community lockers that don't really have a lock on, and then there's personal lockers that you can have a lock with a combination of it. Anyway, he had left his wallet out there when they went in. He had a one kind of a quirk that he kept about 25 singles with him all the time. Uh, let him explain why, but he usually had that with his wallet. In this particular case, as I said, Carol finished her workout and they had been there since earlier in the morning. They fin she finished the workout, went outside a little bit before 8 o'clock in the morning. She said she got in the vehicle. Uh, I think she put the keys in the ignition and she was going to listen to the radio or something. And then she thought she heard something behind her. And she thought for a second maybe her husband was opening the door and getting in behind her. But the next thing she knew before she could even turn around, she felt a hand on the back of her head, which then slammed her face forward into the center console, she believed. She's not really quite sure. She got slammed head first into the console four or five, six times. She lost count. Uh, the perpetrator, whoever it was, she never got a chance to turn around and see who it was. She was at a minimum dazed or groggy from that, as you would expect. We don't know, I don't think there's medical evidence that she actually suffered a concussion or that suspected that might have happened, but certainly she was pretty much knocked senseless to the point that she couldn't even get up and look around and see who had attacked her.